I'm going to make sure I select the file that I want to modify. In this case, it's Office Space, so I click on it. And under the File menu, I choose Get Info. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of information that is optional to put in here. In fact, you don't have to put any in here. You can just leave it as Office under, underscore space. And if you're happy with that, move right along. Uh, I'm a little bit more particular about the way my files are displayed in the iTunes library. So I want to know a little bit more about the Office Space movie. Again, if you're happy with uh, Office Space the way it appears here, then just skip right over this part. But I'm going to go to Safari. And I'm going to go to a website called IMDB, which is Internet Movie Database. IMDB.com. And the Internet Movie Database is just what it sounds like. A database of, oh, I guess I could say all released films, both domestic and international. So I'm going to put in Office Space. And here I have various selections matching the criteria office space. I'm just going to click on the first one. And I can see here, first of all, that it was released in 1999. See, so I'm going to switch over to iTunes. I'm going to change the name from all caps to something more conventional looking. So I'm just going to say office space here. And it was released in 1999 and artist and album artist and all this stuff is again optional information that you could put in if you wanted I think I will copy and paste some comments or a synopsis from this website so I found a summary here where it says plot outline I can just click on more and it's a little outline for the plot which is really easy to just copy by using uh, edit copy in Safari then go back over to iTunes, click in Comments, and say Edit Paste. There. Now on the genre, I'm going to change that to Feature Films. And that's basically all I'm going to fill in on the Info tab of this file that we created with Handbrake. I'm going to move over to Video, and it's already a movie, so I'm happy with that. If it were a TV show, I might want to fill in the show and the episode number and all that, but it's not, so I'm going to move on. I'm going to skip all these and just head over to Artwork. Remember earlier, we found that file using Google Images sitting on the desktop here, so I'm just going to grab that, bring it, and drop it into this box, and click OK. There, now we've got two what look like DVDs in our iTunes library. Office Space and the movie 300. I can double click Office Space and the movie will open in, a, in the iTunes window. As you can see, it's a windowed version of the movie. Well, I can also click on the full screen icon that appears when I mouse over. And then the movie will go full screen. And we can watch it full screen. Handbrake also gives us chapter breakouts, which is really nice. So I can skip to chapter 4, head directly over to chapter 4. Let me bring it back to windowed mode, and then close the window altogether. Now here's a hint, if you just want to watch Office Space in a small window on your desktop while you do work or whatever, or whatever it is you'd like to do, you can just click on the graphic under Now Playing, and that gives you yet another tiny window where I can minimize my iTunes window. And I can do that just by double-clicking in the top bar near the iTunes title. That'll minimize that into the dock. And now I have this tiny little window that it's I can use while I do other things on my Mac. This? I know it. I know it. What? It's the staff meeting. So, so I'm going to close that. So We're all screwed. Go back That's to fine. my iTunes. A a check. Uh, what are you talking about, Tom? Nah. And as you can see, as we build up our library, uh, you can sort of have a really neat looking cover flow version of all your DVDs that you've ripped using Handbrake. So we've completed the steps to ripping a DVD and putting it in your iTunes library. We downloaded Handbrake and installed it from the disk image, put in a DVD, 
pointed to it using Handbrake, rip the file to our desktop, drug the file into iTunes, got info about the file, right? File, get info. We change some of the information there, like the year it was released and the uh, artwork. We put a synopsis in comments. And so we've got two movies our library is building. Uh, one thing I want to point out before we move on is that the original file on my desktop, Office Space, the one that was ripped using Handbrake, is no longer necessary because when we drug it and we fed it to the iTunes icon, iTunes copied it. So this is an extra and we don't need it anymore. So I'm going to take that and drag it to the trash and then empty my trash can. Now, uh, there's a couple of fun things I want to show you about um, your movie library. And there are some of you out there who have a desktop computer and a laptop computer. And bringing uh, tons of movies with you on your laptop can very quickly use up all of your available space. So sometimes it's a good idea just to take uh, one or two that you've ripped. Maybe you store them on an external hard drive and you copy them into your iTunes library for your trip wherever you're going. Storing them on an external hard drive is also an easy way to share them with a desktop. For instance, I have a desktop computer in my office and there's an external hard drive plugged into it and my iTunes library resides on the external hard drive. So, uh, since external hard drives can be a very large capacity I store all the movies on there so I'm not taking up all the room on my laptop. So as you can see in my laptop here, my MacBook Pro, there's only two movies. 300, which is what I brought with me the other day to watch while I was away, and the one we just ripped which is Office Space. Now when I plug in my iPhone or my iPod, I can also choose to have any of these movies load up onto my iPhone or my iPod. I sync my iPhone and my iPod to my desktop tower in the office because that has more media on it. My laptop obviously has less media because it's sort of a portable version of my iTunes library. My iTunes library is about 500 gigabytes and they just don't make laptops with hard drives that big yet. I really hope you enjoyed this episode one of EmpowerCast, how to get your DVDs into your iTunes library and get that media collection rounded out because going forward I think we'll see more and more convergence with our computers and our living rooms. This is Pete signing off and I thank you for watching this episode of EmpowerCast. You can view the notes for this podcast at www.empowercast.com or you can simply go to the Empower Mac website at EmpowerMac.com and click on EmpowerCast.